Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, coming to you from Beckley's Camping Center today to share with you a recent trade we just got in over the weekend. This is a 2018 Lance truck camper. Model number is 650. Now this thing came off a Toyota Tundra and it had the six foot bed. Uh, all the specifications for this uh, truck camper as well as uh, the pricing and my contact information will be down below the video, but let's get on to this camper. So you can see that the, up in the front, you're gonna have a molded fiberglass front cap. By the way, this unit was only used two times by the previous owner, and they stepped up to a fifth wheel. This was just a little bit too small for the wife, and they got something a little bit bigger. Um, on, on this side here, which will be your camping side, you can see you have a nice long awning, outside stereo speakers, so you can enjoy your music outside here. This does have the electric <clears throat> jacks on here, makes it very easy to get on and off your truck. You're gonna notice that the window, the windows on this are gonna be a little bit tinted, give you a little bit more privacy. Notice the yellow light you have over here. The benefit with the yellow light is that's not gonna attract the bugs like a white light would do. Let's get on the other door side. So on the, this will be the driver's side of the, uh, the truck camper. You're gonna notice that you have a little bit of storage area right here. That's what's gonna be right here. Now this is where, Right now, where they have the cable, uh, your uh, cord, electrical cord stored. Okay, you can also see the little uh, round thing. I'll show you where that, what that's for. That's for your sewer hose. This is on the back side of your shower. And so you notice you're gonna have a, a light on here, on this side. Notice how it's a magnet that holds up that door, so you're not having to futz around with one of those plastic holders and so forth. This is gonna have. This has the on-demand water heater. Of course, you get a furnace, air conditioner. Uh, this is gonna be your outside shower if you wanted to rinse off and so forth. So that would give you hot and cold water. You can uh, clean up right over here if you need, if, if the inside bathroom was a little bit too small. Now this is also coming with the step, and it's a double step. Nice thing that is gonna go right in your hitch receiver. Makes it a little bit easier for you to get in here. Notice how it has the uh, grab handle getting in. Also, on the door itself, on the screen door, you're gonna have your uh, privacy shade. And back here, you can see the lights. Uh, so if you need lighting back this area, you can. And the, this is a uh, manual awning on this side, electric awning on your camping side. Now, right below the door here, this is where you'd be emptying your, your uh, black and gray tank. So that's right here. And then to the right of your door, this is where you have your LP tank. And you can see they have a gauge on here. So that way there you're able to see uh, how much propane is in the tank. So now looking inside here, you see now I have a battery connected here so, since we have a dead battery. And you can see you're gonna have your little uh, U-shaped dinette, the bed up top in your kitchen and so forth, AC in the ceiling, power vent fan. So that's all right in here. Now for your bed area, you can see you're gonna have reading lights back at the back and you can adjust those accordingly. You have two lights on the roof. And then you have this nice little fan up top. Nice thing with that fan there, you don't have to open up any windows in order to um, let get some airflow. And you can see back in the back there, you're gonna have storage back here. And you see you have a 110 outlet. Now up in the bed area, you're also gonna have your refrigerator over here. This is a nice little refrigerator. It's a three-way refrigerator. Good size. Makes it nice in the middle of the night. You don't have to get down in the kitchen to get a snack. And very easy and convenient to grab while you're standing down in the kitchen area. This also has your King Jack antenna right here. Nice thing with that type of antenna. It's gonna be a, a high definition digital type antenna, but the beauty of it is you're not having to worry about putting it up or down. And you see as you're laying in bed, you're able to see the TV quite nicely and that will pull out so that as you're sitting down the dinette, you're able to see it. And then of course you have your AM FM CD stereo with a DVD player. Right there, that's also Bluetooth, aux plug, USB. So everything right there. Okay, so in the kitchen area, this is where you're gonna be checking all your levels here. It's all your levels right there. Of course for your water heater, this is for your furnace. 
This is going to be for your awning to put awning in, in and out on the uh, camping side. And then up here, because it does have solar panel on the roof, that way there you get extended, extended uh, camping without being plugged in to uh, power. See, so you have a two burner cooktop, one large, one smaller. Nice window on the side there. Now the window has the screen pulled down. As you can see up in this one here in the bed, I have uh, three quarters of the way pulled up your privacy shade and then your screen is connected to it. And then you can see by the dinette, I have the uh, shade again pulled. You, you see a little bit of screen, but then you have your privacy. So right above your cooktop, you're gonna have your uh, microwave, good size microwave. And then of course you have a cabinet right above your sink. And this has a little push button here so that they're not opening as you're going down the road. And notice how it holds itself up. You're not having to use your head to hold it while you're getting things in and out. See, it's gonna have two, two drawers down below your sink here. And they're nice and tight. So you're not gonna be, they're not gonna be coming loose while you're driving down the road. And then to the, underneath your uh, cooktop, this is where the back of your water heater is going to be. So you're not going to be storing anything in here, but that's just more for maintenance. Of course, your furnace is right here. You do have a 110 outlet right there. Down below here, this is going to be your breaker panel, breakers and fuses. And then to the left there, that is going to be your propane, the LP leak detector carbon monoxide. And you'll also have one up in the bedroom area. Now for this, dinette can be made into a bed. So nice thing is it'll be a nice, good size bed. And then you can see you have a GFI protect, protected 110. Uh, then you have your 12 volt charger and USB right here. Makes it very easy. And then take a look at the steps you have to help you get up into the bed. You have one there, you have another there, and then you have the third. So three steps to help you get up in the bed. As you can see, there's a little book rack right there. And of course, then you're gonna have your cabinet for your corner cabinet, nice netting across the top and then another cabinet in front, and it even comes with a clock. Now I showed you as we were coming in the door that you had the power vent fan. That one there, when you use it, you're gonna to wanna to open a window or the door in order to let it circulate air, because it does pull a lot. You can see the stereo speakers in the ceiling. So there, when you're watching a movie, you have them there, and you also have two over the bed and you can adjust it to what speak, what areas you want speakers coming, uh, playing at. So you've outside, two zones on inside. So three total zones. Now, as you come in the door to your left on the driver's side, that's where you're gonna have your bathroom. So a nice little door with a mirror. As you can see, it has a nice mirror there. Have a nice light inside here with the shower curtain. And see how it's all molded in here? So we, you know, you this is when you're taking a shower, you go to the bathroom, shave your legs all at once, have a nice big skylight. So as you can see, really no seams inside of this bathroom. And of course you have the medicine cabinet behind, behind the mirror there, nice little sink. And of course this is just so you get to some of the water systems for maintenance. You see it does have heat coming in here keep a little bit warmer. So you can see for the um, toilet paper, you keep that nice and dry. You get a towel holder back there. And then of course you have a little vent fan back in the back there. And another little uh, towel holder there to keep things in there. That's not for a chin up bar, but if you want to hang like wet clothes and things of that nature, that is what you could do right in that bathroom. Now for the air conditioner, that is all controlled right here. And then of course you can, you're gonna have the air blowing front and back, but you could adjust that stuff. So if you didn't want as much air coming up in the bed, you could adjust that so that does not happen. And you can see the privacy curtain for the bed. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the 2018 Lance Pickup Camper. This is the model number 650. For more information on this camper or any others, be sure that you, when you reach out to Beckley's Camping Center, whether you call, whether you email, or if you stop by, you ask for Paul the Air Force guy, appreciate you watching all the specifications for this camper, pricing, and my contact information is down below the video. Appreciate you watching, and we'll be coming back at you again soon. Take care.